Good day everyone, this is Calvin, Professor C here. If this is the first time you watch my video, this channel is all about making new mortgage agent making more money and faster. Today I'm not going to teach you anything about mortgage related stuff. However, this is tax season, so I'm going to tell you something about tax related specifically which expense can we use to deduct tax on rental property as we all know a lot of our clients has multiple rental property and when they have those property you can give them some advice and so that they can deduct some tax on the rental property now first of all let me give you my disclaimer we are not tax accountant here. So always ask them to consult their accountant when giving advice on tax. However, you should know some of the common tax um, deduction that can be done on the rental property so you can have some topics to talk about with your client. And I'm pretty sure your client would be very interested in this tax deduction on the rental property. So without further ado, let's go. First one is interest portion of any mortgage and line of credit secured by the rental property now a lot of people know that oh they they thought that the mortgage payment can be deducted against the the, the income uh, the rental income however the only uh, the interest only like the, the the only thing that can be deducted is the interest on the mortgage not the principal portion okay so that's the first one second one the penalty on breaking the mortgage this is how it works say that you have a five years mortgage and you break it on the third year so the remaining terms is three years so you can use that penalty and deduct that you know one third of it against the third year one third of it against the fourth year and one third of it against the fifth year so you can do that next one is any loan fee say that there's a you know uh, appraisal fee that you need to do mortgage insurance that you need to pay any broker fee lawyer fee etc etc can be deducted against um, the rental property obtaining the rental property now mind you the lawyer fee which will touch base later on on item number nine when we are talking about lawyer fee we are not talking about when you buying or selling the rental property it is just about you know say that you are you are having your lawyer to draft your rent your lease or something like that then yes you can do that but not buying or selling the rental property that one is not used to deduct the income on the rental property okay next one is home insurance say that you bought a house and you need fire insurance and all that yes that that one can be done Advertising, say that you need to post a Facebook ad or Kijiji or anything like that, that, you know, in order to attract your tenant, that can be done. Condo fee, property management fee, realtor fee on finding tenant and all that can use to deduct the rental income. Property tax. Now, some people mixed it up the property tax with the land transfer tax. Property tax is recurring annually. So every year you have to pay, that's the property tax, and that can be deducted against the rental income, not the land transfer tax, which is a one-time tax that you pay when you purchase the property. Repair costs. This one is if you, you know, if you have something that, you know, broke down in your rental property and you need to fix it then yes you can do that now mind you if you do it yourself so the DIY you can only deduct the material cost not the labor that you incur okay next one is professional fee 
professional fee, including accounting, uh, accountant use, you know, to file your tax, uh, you know, lawyer to draft your lease, um, you know, whatever. But the lawyer fee to buy and sell the property cannot be used to deduct the annual rental income. Number 10 is utility to if you pay the utility by yourself. So if it is paid by the tenant, no, then of course not. And 11 is landscaping. So again, this one, you can use it to deduct the the rental income. However, it is only deducted on the year that you pay the bill. Okay, so there you have it. 11 items that can help you deduct the tax, the rental uh, income on your tax. Uh, so I hope you learned something and I hope you save a lot of tax on your rental property. Okay. Once again, if you like my video, press the like button, subscribe button somewhere down there and hit the bell. So every time I have uh, my video up, you will get notified. And I usually post my video once a week. Okay. Uh, and sharing is caring. Tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. Okay. Thank you.